question to the back to Malika. Go ahead, please. Hey, Giannis. I, I have two for you. First, I, I'm just wondering, you know, after last game, you said you kind of had tested your, your body. You kind of felt like you could push maybe a little bit more in this game. Did do you feel like you could turn up your aggression or you were still testing things out this game? No, you know, as I said uh, in my previous interview, you know, when I'm out there, it's not about testing no more. It's, I'm out there, I'm, you know, trying to play, uh, try to help my team win in any way possible. Um, and, you know, uh, I was out there both times, and uh, that's what I try to do. Um, you know, I think when you start thinking about your knee or thinking about your toe or pinky or whatever the case might be, you just, you know, make an excuse in your mind. You know, you're out there, just play the game, do whatever you can, um, leave it out on the floor, and um, no matter, you know, what the outcome is, you just live with it. And then it, it seems to me you guys came out, you know, much more aggressive. Really turned on in that, uh, turned it on in that first quarter. What was it that you think you needed to do just to kind of stretch it out, maybe to the full forty-eight as you guys are going back to Milwaukee? We just gotta keep staying aggressive. Um, going back to Milwaukee, you know, we've been here before. We know what the deal is. Um, just gotta be aggressive. Keep enjoying, you know, playing together. Keep enjoying playing basketball. No. Uh, and hopefully our good habits, you know, throughout the year can, you know, take over and now uh, we can put ourselves in a position to win the game. But we know, we know what the deal is. Sector go ahead, Eric. Uh, you, you get that cramp late. Um, <coughs> was there any concern, like, when it happened, were you thinking this is somehow connected to my knee or anything like that? Or were you like, yeah, this is a cramp and just frustrated about it? Just, you know, just a cramp. Um, I, don't, I didn't think it was connected to my knee. Um, was, you know, just a cramp. Got to drink more water. Um, for you guys, in when you guys go small without Brooke on the floor, you're obviously a huge part of the rebounding and kind of securing those. Late in the game, you guys struggled to finish those possessions. Just kind of what did you see? And does it feel like, you know, as you're trying to get your stamina back, you can be as active as you want to be in, in those off-ball situations? Uh, yeah, we've got to do a better job. We've got to do a better job in the 50-50 balls. Um, was uh, I think there was one position that we gave them three open threes. Um, was able to uh, you know get the rebound. I think we were like down six or something. It was a big shot. Uh, we just got to do a better job rebounding the ball. Uh, and it's it's tough. It's tough going small and like switching out. And then uh, I got I got to get my butt back and uh, help help my team to get the rebounds. Uh, but uh, we're going to hopefully move forward. Uh, we're going to do a better job with that. Second row on the right. <clears throat> it's been pretty obvious during these playoffs that your leadership role has grown off the court. So that that being the case, do you do anything or can you do anything to help or work with Drew Holiday? He had a kind of a tough start with 3 of 12. Um, I don't know if you work with him, you leave him alone. You're, it's more than being supportive. Is there anything that you can do in a leadership position? Um, you know, just um, keep keep talking to him. Keep you know, tell him to be aggressive. No matter you know what's going on, you gotta you gotta stay aggressive, and you you cannot you cannot get you know in your feelings. You know, um, it's hard not to. You know, NBA Finals, uh, twenty thousand people booing you and all that it's it's kind of hard but uh, at the end of the day you know it's not about you know it's not about me it's not about him it's not about Chris it's not about you know uh, coach it's about all of us you know and uh, at the end of the day if uh, there's a game that you're 3 for 12 or whatever the case might be and you can you know rebound the ball or um, get a steal or you know do something else you know to help the team win that's what it's all about right now and uh, I think he understands that, and um, I don't worry at all about him. I know he's he's going to be there. He's going to be there uh, when we need him the most, and uh, I don't worry about. Him. He's a great basketball player. He's a great basketball player, and uh, he's played great all year, and he's going to continue to play great for this team. Going to do the same third row. Giannis, in the third quarter, the cameras caught you during the break being very emotional with your guys and, and having, I think, the message you just talked about. What were you telling everybody? And, and then just in terms of the way you use your voice, I mean, are you different now than you were a few years ago in those kinds of moments? Uh, 
Oh, no, I'm, I'm, st- I'm still the same guy. I'm just, I'm just a little bit older, you know, you know, more mature. I know what I want. You know, I, I want, I want to, I want to win. Um, and I want to enjoy the game as much as possible. Um, and, you know, in, in this situation, like, I, I understand, you know, it, it, there's so much, you know, pressure from, you know, from the, from the whole world, from, uh, you know, from the media, from the fans, from, you know, this, but at the end of the day, it's, it's not about just in, us individually. It's about, like, the whole team, everybody that worked to be in this position. And, um, we should be proud of ourselves and we should just go out there and, you know, enjoy the game to the fullest. You know, we haven't been here since 1974. You know, we, we, we've made a great run so far this year and we, we gotta en- enjoy this. This part, um, it's kind of hard to enjoy the game when you're losing. But we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna uh, keep, you know, win or lose, still being together. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna figure out. We're gonna figure out ways to uh, put ourselves in a position to win. But uh, no, I'm not. I'm not there. I'm just a little bit older. That's it. Got on the right, Jim. Hey, Giannis. Um, to kind of follow up on that, though, it, it, going home, can that release some of that? pressure to a degree because it's not 20,000 booing you or any of that stuff and it's it's home or, or is that is that overstated it, no it's it's always it's always good to play you know play at home um in front of your in front of your fans but try not to think about that right now just try to think about what we have to do to put ourselves in a position to win what i gotta do what the team gotta do we gotta watch the clip we got we gotta I think we took a step towards the right direction, but we got to keep getting better. You know, we got to keep getting better in order for us to, uh, you know, put ourselves in a position to win this series. Uh, but we're going to figure it out. Um, in this game, what did what did you see in the third quarter there? You know, uh, Booker's or theory, I think they go up 15. And, I mean, you scored 13 straight of your team's points um, before Brooke kind of had a putback. So what what – Change there. What did you see? What and and I guess what made you have that kind of run? I guess offensively. I'm just trying to be aggressive. Um, me or me, gotta be aggressive. Gotta you know leave everything on the on the court. You know, just focusing on my body, you know, and my my technique, and then everything that I do. Um, yeah, just trying to be aggressive. Trying to hold Melissa. Just as a follow to that, 42 points. 20 in the third quarter, when you're continually attacking over and over again, what's going through your mind during that time? Um, I, th- I think, personally, I think um, to, to, to win this series, it's going it's gonna to be, it's going to be all mental. I feel like there's so much talent, you know, both teams are all, all going to be mental. It's going to be the constant pressure, you know, and um, that's what I want to put to, the, you know, the other team. And obviously, we get tired, Chris gets tired, everybody gets tired, I get tired, but uh, like we got to keep coming over and over again as a team, uh, keep being aggressive, you know, keep pressuring and uh, just having that constant pressure, you know, putting on them. Uh, and that's what I was trying to do. Uh, hopefully, hopefully going to game three as a team, we can do that more. And uh, and me, I just want to keep, you know, keep being aggressive. Can I go to Zoom for a question? Go ahead, please. Stephen Watson. Hey, Giannis, having been in this position just a few short weeks ago against the Brooklyn Nets, is there anything you can draw on from that experience being down 0-2 that can help you on this stage? I think, uh, you know, no matter you know what we say, you know, um, what we put out there, I think we know what the deal is. You know, as simple as that. Uh, we got to go back home and, you know, do our job. They did their job. We got to do our job. We've been here before. And uh, we're able to, you know, get the job done. Hopefully, we can put ourselves in a position we can believe in one another. We can play together. We can have fun. Uh, we can compete. We can, you know, dive on the floor. We can make shots. Put ourselves in a position to win the game. But like, we like we know what the deal is, man. Like, we got to go back home and protect home. Second row to Chris. Go ahead, Chris. Yeah, I know you probably don't want to talk about it, but you mentioned the cramp. But there was also in the first half you. Ran into Chris Paul. Yes, it seemed like it might have hit your knee. Was that something you felt throughout the game? Is that is that something you feeling now? 
No, no, no. Uh, in that position, I felt kind of. I think my both of my knees collided collided together, but uh, I wasn't. I wasn't. You know, paying attention to that. You know, I was paying attention in. You know, executing that plays, um, putting myself in a position to be aggressive, putting my teammate in a position to be successful, um, and focusing the game. I wasn't focused on money. Throw on the left, Jeff. Ian, yeah, you had mentioned that you thought there was a step in the right direction tonight. What, what do you leave here encouraged about? I think we we competed. Uh, this is a lot of things that we got to improve. Rebounding the ball, we can play better. We can definitely play better. We can make make more shots. Getting still, getting good looks. Um, but yeah, we're going towards the right direction. Um, now I don't know if we're gonna win the game, the next game or the game after that. But I know that we're gonna compete. Uh, we're gonna watch what we did uh, good in the tape, and hopefully we can carry over to game three. And do it even better, and do it with more energy, and uh, with more physicality, and make it tougher for them. And um, and I've said this, and I'm going to keep saying it over and over again. Not just for the media, for myself to hear it. Also, uh, hopefully, when we do those things, we can put ourselves in a position to win the game. Right side, there, bro. Uh, Giannis, over the two games of the series now, uh, you guys are actually outscoring the Suns when you've been on the court. Uh, you played 40 minutes tonight. How do you balance maybe kind of pushing Bud to, to get back in the game early versus making sure that you can be effective in those minutes you're on the floor? Um, I just I just trust him. I think he's a, he's a great coach, and um, we've worked three years together, and uh, we've been in a position like this more, a lot of times. I think he knows when to uh, take me out and when to put me in. I just got to trust the process. And um, when I get back in, just... Do what I do. I can't focus in when I get in or when I get out. I just gotta focus in what I gotta do when when I step on the floor. Any other questions? Thank you, Jan. Thank you, guys.